hello guys welcome to my channel new developer so in this video i'm gonna show you how to open a bottom sheet on a click of any button or an event so in this video i have for this button and these are the items i'm gonna show in the bottom sheet so for that i have this nativity layout in which i have a button on that button click i'm gonna show the bottom sheet this is the bottom sheet layout in this bottom sheet layout i have one linear layout on the parent side and inside that parent linear layout i have this bottom sheet title and this close dialog of button okay this is image view and this is the text view normal and and then after this i have a view which is a divider between this after the divider i have a nested scroll view inside that i have a linear layout in which i'm gonna add the items according to my list so this is the bottom sheet item layout in which my item contains the field name and the field description all you can say title and the description basically so let's do the this by creating a kotlin class for bottom sheet so this is the bottom sheet now for creating the bottom sheet in this class i'm gonna create a so bottom sheet function here and in this this function we need two things first the uh, activity context from which we are calling this activity and this is basically main activity because i have the main activity so i'm gonna say this as a main activity okay now i have this list so for that items list which is of type hash mac and uh, for that we need some global variable in this place so privately where items of type hash map now in this function show bottom sheet create this object of bottom sheet and in this object i'm gonna set the arguments first for that we need to create a bundle and in this bundle i'm gonna set the argument so i can't set the arguments here why because i just so that's why now let's so put serializable and in this put serializable i have this list as item uh, key basically and then we need the list so for that we have items here and uh, now now we need transaction manager sorry not transition manager support action fragment manager which creates a fragment in the back stack so because we need a dialog fragment so for that we need to extend it here and this is bottom sheet dialog fragment dismiss align state loss dismiss internal on this so these are the some functions we can override here okay because these are the functions implemented in the interfaces of the bottom sheet dialog fragment that's why we can implement it here now we have bundle we have bottom sheet object now just create a transaction in which i'm gonna add this fragment so transaction is equals to we have the activity dot need we need some get support fragment manager and this begin the transaction that's it now transaction dot add you need fragment for that i'm gonna create this bottom sheet and in this bottom sheet we need to provide the tag here so what is the tag here tag is bottom sheet we need to put the arguments here so bottom sheet dot set arguments is equals to we have this bundle that's it now we need to override the on create method of the fragment which is you know the life cycle method of the fragment so on create and we also need on create view in which we are gonna inflate our bottom sheet layout view okay now so this is simple and uh, let's just do this and then create a view by inflate bottom sheet layout so now in the bottom sheet layout we have some things two things basically one is bottom sheet title in which i'm gonna set that text here which is bottom sheet layout or you can do anything else you want to show here now view dot we have the second thing which is mg close dialog dot so now in this put the set on click listener and inside the, this click listener we just dismiss the dialog and now return the view and before returning the view we are going to set up our set up our bottom sheet item and in this bottom sheet item we need to provide the view in the on create we need to check we need to get the items from the bundle just put let here and inside this items equals so if here the thing is build dot version dot sdk and dk and if this is less than build dot version quotes dot vram issue means android 33 then we are going to get the items like that a dot get serializable by putting the list here and providing the hash map it dot uh, found unit what how it found unit here? oh sorry uh I, why i did this i don't know just need to put so that's how basically we need to implement this because the get serializable function of this uh, bundle plus deprecated at uh, uh, api 33 and uh, now we have the items list here now set up the bottom sheet so how we set up the bottom sheet items first we need field text layout for that where field 
text layout and for that we need layout in creator dot rom parent dot content dot uh, in create or dot layout dot bottom shift item layout here also null and now we have field text layout and inside this field text layout i'm gonna just do key or you can directly just put this key in items dot keys now you just need to get the text view and the set the value that's it so for that you just need where text field name or you can say field title and for that you just need field text layout dot text layout text field name and if you assign this then you can get this actually and then we have field value or you can say field description and for that just field text layout dot text field value and after that just set the value field dot text is equal to dot items dot key title is there and field description is equals to items dot okay sorry uh, field description is basically items at key and field uh, title is basically key uh, let's see uh, field description dot text yeah that's it and uh, now we need to add this layout inside our in this in our basically the linear layout which we have for the in the bottom sheet layout which we have this uh this bottom sheet items linear layout in this linear layout we need to add this so for that we just need bottom sheet at uh sorry view dot so dot like this and uh remove all views and remove this also because the view is not going to be the not going to null basically here so yeah that's it and inside this just add this view item in layout dot add the view and the view is here to be text layout that's it i guess now we need to call the bottom sheet here by from this main activity so for that we just need to do one thing which is bottom sheet dot or you can do is basically you can just simply make a companion object there and but we don't need to do this let's just do this in this way item placed here and we are going to go see if this works or not so this is running this is running and let's click on this show bottom sheet and we have nothing here so what's the error here let's check the error so let's set the debugger point and this is the error point and in this we created the bottom sheet we created a bundle which is null here now you can see here pretty much bundles and in this bundle just set the arguments which basically this okay now bottom sheet bottom sheet has bundle everything is okay uh we added the bottom sheet here but we didn't commit the fragment here so that's how we finally get the issue here so let's rerun this and see if this works or not let's click on this and it's get it gets the specified child already has a parent you must call remove view on the child's parent first okay uh view bottom sheet layer layout dot add view i think uh, okay now this is interesting remove all views then add view uh, okay so basically the specified child already has a friend okay um we need to inflate the layout again and again and uh, for every item basically so that's why it is not working so and uh, we just need to add this layout just like that or you can do i think here also i don't think that's the problem let's see yeah that's not the problem actually you can see java this is a cool language this is the old one but old better founded earlier and you can also do this and do this one click on this this is the dismiss yeah that's it for this video if you like this video button click like sorry if you like this video click like click like button and uh, if you uh, learn something here just subscribe the channel press the bell icon uh, for the updates of the my new videos and uh, also comment it below if you have anything to say any feedback and something bye see you in the next